welcome back to Green Hell the Notebook. Okay, guys, so um, I am recording just a smidge ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to go crazy with like recording ahead like I did before, but I am a, a few videos ahead now because of my work schedule and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's sometimes it's a bit of a challenge. But, oh, look, look, every time I turn around, oh, I've already dropped them. Uh, every time I turn around, that Quasi Amara is just, it goes bad. Um, so I'm going to get this right here because obviously I want something to spawn there and we're going to make a, oh, I need to get some sticks. That's what we need right now more than anything is sticks. Oh, but we also got these long sticks. I need to put them over in my rack because I made a rack for the long sticks and why leave the sticks laying around when you got a rack to put them in, right? That's what it's for. Okay, this needs to go over there. Yeah, that's, uh, this should destroy those things because I don't like them. You know, once I'm done making stuff with the palm leaves, then they're just an annoyance. I want to get rid of them, but, um, all right, we're gonna, we need these sticks to make a fire uh, and to cook some stuff. So, oh, whoa, but I've got a stick stand filled with sticks. Why am I wandering around looking for sticks? When all I have to do is come over here and go, just take the max. Just take all that I want. Right, and now I'm so heavy I can hardly move. <laughs> I, can't, I carry around too much stuff, and I dropped off like last night before I went to bed. I dropped off uh, like that ore and empty cans. I don't. Okay, stop doing that. All right, um, and I need to get some meat going up on this thing here, and well, I want to cook. Oh, look, see, we got that. Oh, I got this. Let's eat this came with meat, and um, we have bananas and thing. I'm gonna let a lot of it go bad, and oh, over here. Let's go ahead and look in here. What, do I have any? Yeah, see, I've got melted ore. I've got several melted ores right there. We can do stuff with that. Also, um, I wanted to put here. This um, where was it? Something. I'm going to put something in there. Um, not the Quasimara. And I've got plenty, plenty of painkillers, so that's not a thing. Um, with the Brazil nut, is that what I wanted to put in there? I don't think so. But these unknown flowers, I'm just going to destroy them because they don't seem to have a purpose. And these I'm going to cook. Um, I wanted to put something in there, though. And now I can't remember. Nope. Drawing a blank. All right. Forget it. Let's just go over here. We're going to light up this fire. I've got, I think, a couple. Yeah, we got some dry leaf. We'll do that. I've got so much soups and things around here. I don't really need to worry about food right now because, you know, it's just I've got a ton of it, so it's not not going to be deal. But I always like to have my fire going, just in case you need something like a freaking Quasimara thingy. So we're going to take this, and since now I don't have any worries whatsoever about water, we just fill that up with that. And we take. Did I hear a bad guy, bad guy around here? Some of maybe it was a frog. I don't know. All right, we're gonna make some Quasiamara just to make sure we have that stuff laying around. And also the bone infusion. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this one and replace it because since the last patch, I'm I'm not sure if bone infusion, like the ones that were setting from before the patch, will do the uh, get rid of food poisoning trick. You know, because that's one of the properties that they have, but unfortunately, the ones that are inside my little hut, mud, mud castle thing, that, those don't seem to do the trick. You know, they, they're not doing it. So, I'm going to make more fresh bone infusion and have those ready out here, just in case we need them. All right, so that's good. Now, drop this over here, and we want to get this thing going. And, and do more. Let's take that charcoal. And we're going to go ahead and light up this, this guy. Where, where's my stuff? Man, I have the hardest time picking the appropriate backpack spot. You think after playing this game so, so long. And I swear, I mean, you guys can't see my cursor, so you just have to take my word for this. I'm actually clicking on the right thing, and it's not selecting the right thing. So is there something in there that's... Looks like something's in there. Well, whatever it is, we got melted iron ore here. We can take that and put it in the box with the rest of it. Um, and then I've got raw iron ore and cans that we need. I dropped two cans over here. Where'd the other one go? I know I dropped a couple of cans over there. All right, well, whatever. We're going to 
take this charcoal and stick it up in here. Oh, you know what? We're going to take it all in one stack. Boom. Now, that's better. Okay. And now, now, we've also got spoiled fruits and fresh fruits over here. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. Oh, unknown flower dried. I, what did you do with a dried flower? I don't know. But we've also got spoiled mushrooms. We can stick those in there. And that gives us fertilizer and spoiled bananas. And put that in there. How much? They'll get 16. And yeah, so all that fruit and stuff that we left laying around here, it's now fertilizer for the plants. Which is brilliant. I like that a lot. And with the rain, these guys, they are, they've got plenty of hydration, so that's not an issue. Let's put that in there. How much? That does 16 for one of these fruits. So it's at 32, and then one of these fruits takes it to 38. So that's only 6 for one of those. So, all right. Well, that's fine. And we've got spoiled coconut. I wonder how much that does. So we're at, what, 38? And the spoiled coconut does... Oh, that does pretty good, right? Another six? It's more than I expected, frankly. So each each coconut is worth a 12. If, uh, but with the mystery snail can't be used for that purpose. So this just needs to be... Oh, just, well, I can't write mouse for whatever reason. Destroy. No, destroy. And... Can, oh, good... God, can't do it. All right. That's fine. All right. Now let's take these other ones. We need to plant one more thing, but I wanted to plant one more thing that we don't know yet what it does. Like uh, some small plant, you know, but I don't, we don't seem to have another type of seed or anything that I'm aware of to plant. But you guys, you know, you're the experts out there. You let me know because I don't know. But there's, yeah, we have this one small plot and other than these little orange ones I don't know what to do with them so let me take these fruits off of here and whether I eat them or not is kind of irrelevant at this point because you know they'd be put to use making more fruits um, but well, let's eat one and then you know I'm just going to drop them here because no reason for me to carry around that extra weight if I'm just going to either eat them or use them for, um, you know, I don't need these painkillers, I don't think. I mean, they could be good in a clutch emergency, right? Um, so, yeah, actually, I do need a banana. Let's eat one. And then we'll leave the rest of that stuff. Okay, how is this going? Okay, it's not quite there. So, I've got a blade mold. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this. That'll give us a metal blade cast, right? And then I should have another... Where's my other metal blade? I had left one laying around somewhere. I thought I did. Anyway. Did I put it in my box? Or... Where's my long stick stand? I thought I left it laying right here. I can't remember. Maybe it's inside here. Drop it in here, or put it in this box. I didn't. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need like three of these, and so that's what I'm working on right now is doing, you know, the metal for making more blades because I wanted to try. Where's my other blade, though? Did I use it for a spear? Maybe I did. I don't know. Whatever. We're making more of them, and this is, I think, just ore. That's, oh, I bet you I stuck the can in there. I was wondering where the other empty can was. And I bet as I was moving stuff around and my mouse was being weird, I bet that's where it went. But whatever, we're cooking up something right now. And see, I've got more of this dried flowers here for the Quasimara. And that's eh, weird. So now I've got this one unknown flower here. We need to turn that. It says unknown, but it's not unknown. We know this is Quasimara, right? Okay, let's get this off of here. And do I have anything else? Just clean water. Let's just stick that on there. I don't even care that it, I don't need that much of a pot for Quasimara, but whatever. It's, you know, there we go. It's not like we don't have a ton of tortoise shells and pots and stuff. It's all good. Well, I've got, what, two, two pots out here? Yep. 
and more uh, to, uh, tortilla shells, with no tortilla shells, than any man has a right to, frankly. All right, we're going to get some more stuff here. We'll let most of this just go bad for, you know what, I should go hunt down a caiman. Why wouldn't I do that? Well, because it's dangerous and dumb. Why would I do that? Because I'm brave. I'm feeling brave right now. Or I'm feeling just foolish. But there should be one around. You can hear them. And it's not like they're super fast or anything. It's not like they, like a puma that will just jump on you. They'll hiss and, and give you a fair warning. Oh god, yeah, like that. Where is it though? Where the hell is it? Okay, now I'm nervous. Oh god, where did it, where did that noise come from? Was it in the water or was it over there? Like I totally can't tell. And I don't see it. Where is it? <laughs> well, that's not right. Where the hell is it? There's a taper over there. Go eat that taper. Where, where is it? Oh, and I don't like it. Now it's all rainy. And I can't tell where that came and noise came from. Where is it? I'm just looking for any movement. Am I insane? Is that what it is? It's just a sanity thing? Where the hell did that noise come from? Holy crap, I feel like I'm going to just run right into it. Where is it? See, now I don't know if this metal armor would protect me. It would give me at least one. Look at that. There's a taper right there. It's just standing there. I really think that that black caiman was like maybe in the water or something. Let me get a taper go. Oh, but I'm super nervous now because I can't see anything with all this underbrush. Was it in the water and it's like stuck in the water? It can't get out of the water or something? I mean, that area right there looks pretty darn shallow. Like it, it should be able to slide right out of the water if that's what it was. Oh, God, you freak me out, taper. I guess you kill that taper and go cook it, but... Where is the... That came in. I mean, you guys heard it, right? Didn't you hear that? I heard it. I know it. Okay, okay. I I'm just hanging out here, just freaking myself out. I'm getting super scared. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't know where that noise came from. I thought, oh, here, I'm all brave and, you know, it's going to be valorous and go slay the beast. And, but no, now I just want to go home. Just mommy. See, this is what I was saying, was, um, like with the cats, with the big, oh, I wonder if I can plant these. Okay, just nothing kill me while I'm harvesting this. All right. Uh, these might be able to be planted, right? And that would be great. Let's, let's grab one of those. Okay, and, and the spear again. Um, yeah, no, with the caiman thing, like the, the cats, you know that the cats, um, I don't want that bird. You know you can take a hit or two from the cats, right? And your armor will protect you. But, like with other armors, I know for sure. That came and bites you, and you're done. That's it. There's no armor that's going to protect you from that thing. It's a one-shot <coughs> kill. And so, what is that? It's just a log. It's just a log. Where did that thing go? Now, for all I know, it's cruised around. It's got my scent. It's going to come back over onto my little island of safety and it's not going to be so safe anymore. You know, I've been attacked by that thing, you know, on this island before. They will come over here. Um, alright, damn it. Now I'm all freaked out. <laughs> I'm totally freaked out. Okay, it's fine though. 
we're we're back here and now the question right 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 question can i plant this thing over in this thing let's try that thing here i like this this guy oh, i can't go in there um could it maybe go into another big one maybe so why don't we make another big one yeah <laughs> why not right um no wait, no not there here Right there. Yeah, and oh crap. Can it fit? Can I squeeze another one in here? Oh, boo. Boo. Like, I don't want to block my pathway here, but that's not blocking anything right there. Yeah, let me just stick it right there. Do I have sticks? Do I have sticks? I have enough sticks. I just need more logs. Um. And I know there's logs over on the Black Cayman side of the world. <laughs> yeah, but you know I'm not going over there to get them. There is no way. Okay, we got all this fruit. I should just harvest all of this right now. There's no reason not to. Oh, it won't let me take them because I don't have any room for them. Because of this thing. But I want to try and plant this thing. So, what? Oh, crap. Okay, all right, 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 right. Let's come back over here. <laughs> I've got the, the psycho uh, situation happening. Let's, uh, man, I'm running around with these leeches, and it's doing it to me. I gotta stop ignoring the leech situation. Shush, 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 shush. Everything's gonna be okay. Right? Here, let's eat this. Yeah, that gave me some sanity back. Good. Um, yeah, there's Quasimara, Bone Infusion, Quasimara, Bruise, uh, uh, what is this, Beet Soup? Alright, we'll drink that. Did that give me sanity? Yes, it did. And the fire. It's always nice for sanity. Oh, oh, we forgot about this. So, there's more Melted Ore. And, oh man, we ran out of charcoal. We're going to have to refill this thing, too. Let's go ahead and take the max out of here. And, oh, now we're all the way down. I'm going to put more in here. Okay, that's good enough. And then we'll light this up again. What? No. Use that with that. And now we're going to stick one of these um, molds in there. We've got a mold laying right here somewhere. Didn't we? Where, where are my molds? Wait, what happened? I know I had another one. I had a blade mold made. Right. It was laying right here somewhere. Oh, man, did it just vanish? And why did this get reset? I had bricks in there. That's not right. I took too long at it or something. Look, there's a peacock bass. Let's take that fish. We'll just reset this. Damn! I didn't... Like, only a matter of so many days, right? And then it goes away. All right, let's take some mud. Uh, oh, now I'm too heavy to do anything. This is ridiculous. Man, I'm glad I harvested that one mold, though. I mean, it might have just vanished on me, and there'll be another one down the tubes. All right, well, until I get molds going, let's go ahead and put some more iron ore in there. I'm going to drop this leaf pile here. Harvest this guy. Put this meat on the smoker. Well, I'm, I'm disappointed I didn't find that caiman, though. I, I'm glad it didn't find me, but, um, yeah, I wanted to kill it. I wanted to kill it. But, all right, we're, we're going to get some mud. Let's get some mud. Because this is a process. This is a really easy process, and if you're not all weighed down like I am right now, um, it's not a problem. Let's drop this right over here. And this mushroom needs to go in there. And then we'll get more. Yeah, more of this stuff is going to... Oh, this. Let's get these off of there so that they can start to spoil. Or we can eat them. 
whenever, but there's no point just leaving them hanging there, you know, staying fresh. Let's put them here. And then we can eat this. Because why not? And this can go there too. And this. And all of this stuff. Except for the orange ones. We just keep that one right there. Okay. That'll help our weight a little bit. And, um... I'm cooking that. That's fine. This needs campfire ash. So let's we'll grab a piece and put that in there. And it's going to fill with water from the rain. That'll be fine. Um, and we need logs, right? Let's go get some logs. Just really curious where that thing went and set our trap. I'm curious where that, um, that came and went. So, question is, where over here can I get some regular trees? If there's more fruit, I don't really need the fruit. I, I want to see if I can plant that thing in that big uh, plot. Now I'm all about being a farmer. But, I also want... I also want to find some trees to make that next plot and these these are all palm trees over here yeah I was hopeful that we'd find oh wait maybe we will find some trees over here yeah like this one all right logs. Yeah, I'm just going to take the two logs. And we're, yeah, we're underweight. That's great. We can just cruise through real rapidly, chasing the peccary or, or captain barras around. Anybody get caught in this yet? No? Come on, one of you guys get caught in there. Alright. Two more logs. Two more logs, and then we'll see about planting. Oh, okay, let's see about planting that um, that bulb, the malanga bulb. Isn't that what it is? I can't remember. Yeah, we can get all this other fruit and stuff, and then there's this bulb, which I'd be curious if we could plant that one too. Um, and I can't remember what it's called. Unknown bulb, right? That's what they all are. Okay, here we go. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut down the... What's happening here? Get these logs. And then we're going to cut down this thing over here. Where, where is it? Here it is. We'll drop these right here. Okay, now we're going to cut this down and see if maybe, yeah, we can actually, they fix that, so you can get it before that stuff, like, completely disappears, all the other foil, oh, crap, now we're heavy, it's fine, we're gonna just waddle our way back, and I want to see if, once we get this big plot filled, can we grow either of those two things, or perhaps both of them, if we could grow both of them, that means we have to build another big plot. And then I'll be left with a small plot, and I still don't know what else to plant in there. What's that? Okay, I hear a spider. Did we ah, we caught a pepper bar too. Look, he's hanging over there. Hi guys. Yeah, sorry about your brother. He's he's gonna be turned into dinner. But you know, it's we're we're culling the herd. We're just, we're weeding out the the weak and dumb, you know. The dumb ones are the ones that get caught in a trap that doesn't even have any bait in it. So, you know, kind of it's, it's survival of the fittest there. It's natural selection at work. Where is the spot that I can get up on this? There we go. Yeah, I knew there was a spot I could get up on there when I'm even when I'm way down. But, oh, we need to get back to our forge too. You know, I'm trying to do all these things at once, but sometimes it's not as efficient to do, oh, for Pete's sake, get over there. Just need to drop these two logs in place, like, oh, for Pete's sake.
you tank. Go in there. Boom. Done. Now, can we plant this big bulb? No. Can we plant this bulb? No. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, now we know. But we, we've got a... Uh, so heavy from this stuff. <laughs> let's let's drop some things. We'll, we'll just cook these. I mean, we find the bulbs, and that's fine. So apparently, the plants that you can plant are ones that you can just harvest fruit off of that you don't have to dig up. And that, I suppose, makes sense, right? That's that's how I'm looking at it, at least. So now, the one thing I haven't tried. Can I? Okay, I can't roast those things on the that. But, oh, I can roast it on here. Now, it will give me food poisoning when it's raw. And we know that. Let's find a spot we can drop this. Okay. And, oh, man, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze really bad. All right, so the question is, with this one, I know it also gives us food poisoning if it's raw. But can we? Oh, we can just. Oh, and I've never eaten them like that. I have never eaten those things like that. So this will be a new thing that we are going to learn. And we will learn. Oh, look. See this thing? Is it still going? There's our melted ore. It's done. So I'm going to grab that melted ore. We're going to grab one of the... Oh, we'll use the mud mixer. We're going to mix up some mud. And then let's don't forget about our bulbs. We don't want them to burn over there. Um, but now this is mixed up. And that means we can take one of these bricks. We can harvest it up. We'll turn it into a mold or whatever. I, I don't know. What it, yeah, empty mold, and we're going to craft that empty mold along with a um, blade, right? I need a blade. Crap. All right, let's drop those empty molds, and we're going we're gonna to need a blade, a stone blade. So do I have any stones around here? Yes. There, where, where is it? There's a stone. All right, so now we're going to take... Yeah, come on back over here. We're going to take these stones, craft these stones like so, into a stone blade. And that's going to fall on the ground. No, or, or not. And then we put that empty mold there, like so. And then we grab this melted ore, like so. And we're going to make that blade mold. And we're going to take this blade mold, and we're going to shove it up inside this thing, like that. And then we're going to take this... Well, we need to make another stone blade, right? We're, we're, unless, where's our stone blade? Did it go... Did it fall down somewhere? There it is. Okay, yeah. So now we can take this empty mold, and craft that empty mold, along with this stone blade, and... Uh, another piece of that freaking ore, where it is, right there, and blade mold. Boom, we're making another one. This is great. All right, so we drop this right over here, like so, and happy days. We drop this leaf pile, and we can stuff a little bit of, oh, did I let my fire go out? No, here, we need to put some charcoal up in here, too, like that. Yeah, we'll put a couple pieces, and these things, that's cooked now. Look at this, it's cooked, and this one is also cooked. And I've never had one like this before because, look, effects of consumption, unknown. And what happens when I eat it? It gave me energy and carbohydrates and it didn't poison me. How about that? Huh? How do you like that? And this also, that'll last a day. We'll eat that one tomorrow because I don't eat all those carbs right now. That one gave me a ton of carbs. That was super good. Uh, but we also have... Look, I'm going to drop it over here. We also have a capybara. I'm going to run across there and get that capybara. And uh, what time is it? It's uh, it's not super late. Yeah, I don't even need to eat this stuff. I don't need to eat it. We just drop it over here. Look, I've got this crazy garden. with all this stuff, I, like a, abundance of fruit. I could feed the whole <coughs> village Like if, if I hadn't killed them all. Um, they, they could just come here and have plenty of fruits and stuff. But no, that's not going to happen anymore because now they you know the ones that were left around here um, they all hated me anyway um, so it's not like they were going to come and break bread you know they were just going to try and shoot me or something you know, but uh, they, they could have come over here and had breakfast you know if they didn't try and hurt me that's the thing you know that's that's the deal breaker guys <laughs> look you know you're welcome to come and join me for breakfast if you don't try and shoot me, you know, but the shooting thing, that, the, no, no, the, you're not invited anymore after that. This is the last time you come to my parties. So, but for now, we've got all this capybara meat. We're going to put it over on our little smoker thingy, and 
I think we're going to call it a night. And I'll say thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We're going to try this this weird dildo bulb tomorrow. We're going to eat it raw. Well, I mean, it's cooked now. We're going to eat it, but not in soup form. And this, that's a novelty for me. So we'll put some of this on here like so. And oh, we've probably got a ton of it dried over here too. Like, don't I? Yeah, look at all this dried meat right here. Okay, we're going to take that off of there. And then we'll put this one right on there like that. And we're going to eat this. Why not? And oh, did I not get parasites? Oh, I didn't. That's good. I'm dirty. I shouldn't be eating stuff when I'm dirty. But again, guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite. And um, if you guys know what else to plant and stuff. And oh, also, by the way, I've recorded this ahead. And so I don't know if you've already posted something about how to learn the things. So um, the missing things in my notebook. I'm at this point, I'm just kind of, I'm playing because I'm enjoying playing and I wanted to get a little bit ahead on the recordings because I'm going to run out of time. So um, that's that's where we're at with that. But I, I really rely on your input because frankly, I don't I don't know this stuff. You know, I, I find out some things on my own, but mostly I just rely on you guys to tell me what the hell to do. And I love you for it. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share and favorite if you wish. And... Make sure, if you haven't played with your dingling today, play with mine, and you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video. And I'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.